Hey what's up guys my name is Zaheer so in this video I am going to talk about Xiaomi Redmi Note 5 so there is lots of rumors and uh, leaks about this phone and there is lots of hype about this phone guys that this phone will have this processor this RAM this much of display and lots of other things so I will going to tell you the all the leaks and rumors that I know about the Xiaomi Redmi Note 5 in this video so guys uh, as per IGN, they uh, on their website it uh, they got some invite from Xiaomi that uh, with the logo I will leave the screenshot here as you see this 5 that means uh, on 14 February they will launch Redmi Note 5 or or if they didn't launch Redmi Note 5 then they will launch Redmi 5 uh, plus or Redmi 5 in India so it's awesome thing so first of all guys this is a leak photo as you see here this is like very awesome and impressive if the redmi note 5 is like this phone then it is like super impressive phone in the budget segment so as per gsm arena redmi note 5 will have 5.99 inches of uh, basically 6 inches of uh, 2160 by 1080p display which means with the, it will come with the aspect ratio of 18 to 9 this is very awesome but as per this leaks, this is like very mind boggling. So I don't think this is true. So guys, moving to the processor. Uh, on the iGAN, they said that they will launch two different variants of uh, Xiaomi Redmi Note 5. One variant will have uh, Snapdragon 636 processor. The higher variant will have 636. And the lower variant have 630 processor which is kind of okay 630 is very good as compared to 625 but 630 is definitely much better than 630 and even 625 too and on gsm arena it only says it has snapdragon 636 processor which is octa-core processor yeah i think you should know that and it also has adreno 509 gpu which is a uh, 40 percent more powerful than the adreno 506 4 which was in the redmi note 4 so this is all the processor hype and now moving to the some other aspect of this mobile phone guys uh, the build quality so in my opinion the build quality will be same because the redmi note 4 has very good build quality in my opinion the full metal back and uh, the up and bottom area has a plastic portion to get the proper reception and the network so I think this same design will carry over in this Redmi Note 5 as you see in this leak. So I think this is also good. Uh, it's not bad and they will make the corners little bit rounder and edges little bit rounder. So it will feel much better in the hands. So guys speaking of cameras, this phone will have uh, three cameras total. Uh, two cameras on the back uh, one of which is 16 megapixel and another one will be 5 megapixel for depth sensing I don't think it is of any use they should have given us uh, like one single camera which has a uh, better optics and better uh, sensor so it will be much better if they give us only one camera which amazing but they will give two average camera to uh, increase the hype obviously increase the hype and on the front they will give us like 8 megapixel front facing camera which is quite sufficient in my opinion listen guys the megapixel doesn't matter because as you see already the iphone 5 has 0.2 megapixel front facing camera and some of the phones has 5 megapixel 8 megapixel front facing camera but iphone 5 s will easily beat all of them because uh, the megapixel doesn't count the sensor size and uh, the optics and other things will count in this uh, segment so this is the biggest thing let's see let's hope for the best now let's talk about batteries guys so as per the gsm arena this phone will have 4100 mh battery yeah as per like redmi note 4 has 4000 mh battery and this phone also has 4000 mh or 4100 mh battery which is very good in my opinion the the battery life of the xiaomi redmi note 4 was like spectacular but and in this phone if this phone comes with a Snapdragon 636 processor which is made on 14 nanometer technology and this techno this uh, processor is quite uh, power efficient as well as powerful so it will if they give the 4100 mh battery then the battery life will be awesome in my opinion so now guys moving on the prices 
this phone will launch around 11000 to 13000 rupees with the some different ram and storage variant if they launch the in the both variant uh, one has the snapdragon 630 and one has a snapdragon 636 so they name the the phone which has the snapdragon 630 they name it as redmi note 5 and the phone which has a uh, snapdragon 636 they name as redmi note 5 plus yeah i think if they launch two pieces of redmi note 4 but i wish that they will launch only one smartphone and this smartphone will like this phone will uh, like blow the market of india as the redmi note 4 does redmi note 4 was highest selling phone in india so that's all about the leaks and rumors i have uh, some expectation here that i want to share with you guys my first expectation guys that because uh, 636 and uh, 630 both uh, support quick charge from qualcomm and i think uh, i don't know xiaomi will give us a quick charge or not but i hope that uh, xiaomi will give us a quick, quick charge technology in the phone as well as they should give us the usb type c because the usb type c is much better than micro usb ports so these these are my expectation guys let's see what will gonna happen on 14 february and i will be back once the phone will be launched and guys um, there is lots of plan about this channel uh, the two three videos are coming really soon as well as the google pixel experience from which i have flashed on my lenovo z2 plus from which i am recording right now this video so that rom review is also coming soon on the channel so if you haven't subscribed this channel what are you doing guys please subscribe this channel and hit that bell notification icon too so you will be notified when i post new videos yes so that's all in this video guys i hope you like this video if you did then don't forget to hit that like button yeah that like button hit that and uh, once again thank you so much for watching this video guys bye bye